Hey guys, so today I want to compare the original Samsung Galaxy Note versus the uh, iPhone 5 uh, with iOS 7, the latest version uh, of iOS, uh, the latest version of Apple's software here. I've already been comparing it against a ton of other devices, uh, but this time it's time for the original Samsung Galaxy Note phone, uh, which is having the, uh, let's see here. So actually the first device to be insanely big in terms of its size. I mean, it's, it's super big. Uh, Android 4.1.2 uh, version here, as you can see, uh, Jelly 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 Bean, and it, sh it should also probably be the latest update here. There we go, the latest update here, and of course iOS 7 here uh, on the Apple machine is pretty interesting to compare. Uh, so to start off here, uh, of course, the Galaxy Note, the new, thing, the new good things with the new Galaxy Note phone, the Galaxy Note 2 smartphone is of course the original Galaxy Note, uh, is that the new Note has a better uh, improved S Pen. This one is thinner, uh, it doesn't, it, it's not as good on uh, accuracy uh, when you type, let's see here. There we go. It's still pretty good, I mean, for its price, uh, what you will pay for uh, this variant here. Uh, but comparing to get to the new Note 2, uh, it's really bad. And let's see here, let's just uh, skip that out. Uh, and also in terms of its form factor, uh, it's pretty bulky. Uh, the button here at the top is too uh, high. And it's a pretty wide phone. Uh, the new Note 2 is definitely much better in terms of its form factor. Uh, but still, it's it's a veteran and it's 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 a cool old boy here, uh, which uh, can still uh, be pretty decent here with its dual core processor, uh, 1.4 gigahertz clocked. I think a little bit higher than the S2. I mean, it's basically like a big S2 with a little bit better specs, uh, especially the camera. I'm pretty sure it's way better. So if you start off here uh, on the lock screen. Uh, you can see that you can have quick access here to some apps that you can quickly launch and then you have the clock here Same here. You have the clock here. You don't have any quick access to some apps uh, or a quick access to your own apps here in iOS 7 But you have quick access to the camera. So that's at least uh, one way here. Let's see There we go. You can just do one swipe up. Of course all the apps has been updated as well uh, all the apps have been updated, uh, like the camera app, the Safari browser, the square mode here when you take pictures is the mode, I think I think it's like the Instagram mode. The panorama mode, uh, which of course is pretty obvious what it is, take a long picture. You can, the, you can enable HDR here just by simple tap. Uh, tap. But Apple still likes to keep it very, very simple. Uh, also what Apple have uh, enabled here in iOS 7, is that you can first off you slide over here to unlock like that you don't nothing happens when you slide to the right side but if you slide from the bottom side here you get something that's pretty cool finally some toggles uh, inside of iOS 7 uh, so you can see here some quick toggles for Wi-Fi airplane mode Bluetooth uh, do not disturb mode when you don't want to get any calls or anything uh, screen rotation mode a brightness slider all of these small things that you've been having in Android for a long time finally that's well in iOS if you want to access it here of course on, on the Galaxy Note 2 no Galaxy Note not the Galaxy Note 2 uh, sorry, I'm, I'm so used to using the, the the Galaxy Note 2. But if you want to control these on the Galaxy Note, of course, you can just do one swipe from the top side uh, where you can see all your notifications, your brightness slider here. Uh, and then also you can see this music player that you see in the control center that Apple seems to be calling it. Uh, you can see music player here. This is the music player that will pop up when you play music on the, uh, the Galaxy Note. Uh, and then also you have some quick access to some uh, some apps here like the alarm and the, let's see the the light here that people usually download a lot uh, and then also you do have quick access to uh, the a calculator here if you do want to do any quick calculations and then also the camera so that is how the lock screen is uh, on both two devices. You probably have some more options there. It, it depends. If you want to have some apps that you always can quickly launch, then of course uh, Android is better. But if you don't need that, if you just need the camera and that control center that you can access both uh, when you are on the lock screen and not when you're on lock screen. You can also disable it if you don't want to have people to get access to that in the lock screen mode. 
uh, notifications. I think that you will still see all not your notifications in iOS 7 up here when you swipe down. You can see I have the calendar here. So this is the notification center. So you see the calendar. You can go from today, all missed. Uh, I assume that you will see notifications there somewhere. I did remove the stocks. Uh, you can also uh, customize that fully uh, in the settings area. Uh, if you go to notification center here, uh, you can what you can hear if you want to have access to that on the lock screen. Uh, if you want to include these things here, you can definitely do so. Let's see photos, alert style. You can customize uh, the kind of the alert how it should look like when it pop up. Uh, so of course that is that's pretty cool. Uh, still with the new iOS seven here, the main difference between these two devices is that I mean on the home screens is that you have way more customizations options here in the Galaxy Note where you can both have widgets, as you can see I have a weather widget here and also a search widget and then also can have my normal apps. Uh, you can have a, also you can see here my cool widget here for my S my, for my S Pen that something is calling it. Uh, so uh, I have a cool list here of things I can do with it. I have a cool calendar that I could already have over here. I don't even have to load up an app. And that is one of the powerful things here with Android that uh, you have that freedom there. And especially if you do like to change every single icon and everything, you can definitely do so uh, at different launches and stuff. Where Apple likes to keep it a little bit simple, they're saying this is what you should like, this is what you should use. Uh, so you can see that they've updated every single icon and kind of the theme that they have more like a black and white theme. Uh, look, just look at this, the camera app, or not camera, but the call app. Uh, really really black and white really really changed it uh compared to uh the 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 default or the ios 6 and other versions of ios this is probably the bit one of the biggest versions of ios uh, updates ever where they changed so many things you can also see how they have changed how apps uh, work so let's first just create an app here or a folder i mean uh on my galaxy note So I just create a folder over here, and then I can just probably drag and drop stuff into that. Uh, so folders kind of look like, in uh, it seems like uh, the folder way uh, that you had in iOS 6, that's the same kind of folder system that you do seem to be getting uh, in uh, Android, here with Android 4.1 at least. Uh, where uh, iOS 7 is a little bit different. So I have a folder over here. So when we tap on it, you can see it open up, opens up uh, the whole folder and then we can add a ton of apps, ton, ton of apps. So if you really wanna hide apps, seems like folders is way more improved in iOS 7. So definitely a nice little update there. You can also see the kind of animations that you can see. I'm pretty sure that you do get some more animations here in iOS 7 uh, than what you had in earlier versions of iOS. And then also they get a comment that if you want to search for something, of course, in, in Android, I did think that when you went to the search option over here, that it would only search, uh, that it would only search for online stuff, but it do seem like it will search for stuff that's on your phone as well and also apps. Uh, if you want to search in iOS 7, they made it a little bit different here, uh, where you do one swipe down like that, and uh, then you can just type in stuff here, and uh, you both have apps and stuff that had you have on your phone come up. Uh, for some reason, I, I think that it's a little bit better integrated here, search uh, on the iPhone because Apple control kind of whole experience over here, uh, which is making it a little bit better that it feels like it's already inside of the phone, the search thing, uh, where uh, on the, in Android here, we have to open up a whole new app just to do some quick search. Uh, not super advanced, of course, uh, but I do enjoy it here. It's, it's a little bit better optimized here in iOS 7. Uh, also, of course, with the voice assistant that you do get, of course, you still have, you have, you have voice, let's see here, do we have, I don't think we have S voice. No, we don't even have, it seems like we don't have S voice uh, on Android 4.1 for the Note. It's well on the new Galaxy, Galaxy 3, of course, and Galaxy S3 mini. Uh, but uh, it seems like we do have the old voice talk here. Uh, let's see, agree. Seems like we have used the old voice talk uh, skip, the old voice talk here uh, on uh, in Android uh, on the Galaxy Note. While of course with newer Galaxy devices, you do get S voice, which is 
Samsung's own kind of Siri, and Siri of course is uh, Apple's voice assistant that they've been using for some time now. But you can see you kind of can do everything here. Uh, but it's not as personal of course as, as voice or Siri, which is even more personal here, but you can definitely do some voice assistant there. I do, I do use Samsung's S voice when I want to set the alarm. I say set the alarm for 6 p.m. or something, and it always works. And of course it always works uh, with Siri as well. Yeah, so if you want to launch up Siri here on the iPhone, you just hold in. Set alarm at 8 p.m. Okay, I set an alarm for 20. So as you can see, very, very simple. You can also see the beautiful transition effects there that they've updated that. Uh, let's just enable, disable that, and that's pretty cool that you don't even have to open an app just to disable it again. Uh, extremely useful, extremely nice. Of course, you can just launch apps also, I think, with it. Uh, so Siri definitely improved and made some new additions uh, to iOS 7 with Siri, so I might check out that in another video. Uh, also, if you want to multitask, of course, you just double tap here on the iPhone 5 uh, versus just holding in the home button here uh, on the Galaxy Note. So you can see here, if you just want to remove something, it's one swipe away. The, the thing I do like here with the Samsung device is that I can use one tap and it will close everything. Extremely useful. Uh, it's it's a bit way better here in iOS 7 compared to earlier versions of iOS. Uh, when it with these small dots, now it's a little bit more interactive here in the middle of the screen. But you still have, don't have that option to move every single app with one swipe. I definitely would enjoy that a ton. So you can see you have all of your apps down here uh, on the side. If you scroll, if you want to go back, you just go back over here or you just hit the home key, of course, and you will always go back to home. So. There's also, of course, I can do separate videos uh, on separate features like the browser, comparing it against the Note or whatever. Uh, but you can tell me that in the description down below what you want to see. If you want to see anything specific with the Galaxy Note or the iPhone 5 with iOS 7, I mean, you can go over gaming, you can go over reading. There's just so many things you can go over. And of course, you can't do everything in one video. That would just be an extremely, extremely long video here. Uh, and, uh, let's just go over also quickly show uh, some uh, brightness and wallpaper. You can see some quick default wallpapers here that you do get the dynamic one and a shift one here inside uh, of the uh, iOS 7. Uh, and then you also get some very, very nice uh, wallpapers here, new wallpapers that you do get. They get in the one jelly bean update for the note. Uh, you just go to wallpapers over here. I do like this one and this one's also pretty nice. That's one of course that I'm using right now. This one's also pretty nice. I do like it when a phone comes with some extremely nice wallpaper, something that's a that's an important part. Uh, but yeah, quick little look here, the Galaxy Note and the iPhone 5. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like or some feedback down below. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Yeah, peace.